Dr. Touch, today I want to demonstrate DT Video Encoder, a component that uh, encapsulates MJPEG video with a PCM audio track in an AVI container. Uh, a bit of history, we did lots of researching, uh, had a look at FFmpeg on, on the iPhone, had a look at other possibilities, uh, primarily because we wanted to do a live video encoding. But it turns out that this is next to impossible without the help of a, a hardware-based video encoder or some serious uh, assembly language programming, uh, neither of which uh, we have access to. So we decided to just basically do it as a, a technology study. And interestingly enough, somebody uh, actually said, well, that's exactly what I need. I want to uh, encode JPEG files that I have in, a, in an app uh, for upload to YouTube and I need an audio track. Uh, and the JPEG files are already uh, compressed. So all I need to do is add them to an uh, AV, AVI container. So the, the author of this component, uh, I, have to, I have to admit, it's not myself. It's Chris Harris, maker of uh, A-Track Mind, a cool game. He said hours and hours uh, to make it really simple to use. And here's the result. Uh, you get a full demo that looks like this. Uh, you can uh, start a recording and aud audio will also play. So that's it. Uh, basically what's, what you draw on the canvas at the top, uh, there are screenshots being made of that. Um, but because of the, the time it takes to compress uh, a, a screenshot, uh, we are only doing that for the demo for uh, twice a second. Uh, obviously, if you do that offline of the hard disk, uh, you, you can be much quicker. Um, and uh, also it's something you can do in the background. Um, <clears throat> so in this case, uh, in the demo, uh, it recorded uh, 12 frames in 7 point something seconds and you can email this to you uh, to try it out. Simulator can't, as you might know, but like every good TV cook, I've prepared the result and it looks like this. Um, so there's the audio track, there's the video uh, I drew and well, that's it for that. Uh, the feature demonstration, just to quickly show you how it looks in code. Uh, you instantiate a video encoder, specify frame rate, quality, size, uh, video file path, uh, audio file, optionally, begin file. And then ev for every uh, frame you want to add, um, basically you just call add frame with UI image. Or if you have uh, already a pre-compiled, uh, sorry, a pre-compressed image, there's also um, a header method to add the JPEG data that you can read from the file. And when you're done with it, you just end file and you have a fully functioning uh, AVI file on your documents directory that you can mail to somebody. This component is available on Dr. Touch's parts store. Uh, be sure to check it out. And that's it for the demonstration of DT Video Encoder. Bye bye.